So recently, we talked about one of Fallout 4's worst weapons in the vanilla game, and we spent a good bit of time trying to overhaul it with mods to make it a little bit more acceptable, and I think we did a pretty good job, and you guys seem to like that quite a bit. So today, we're going to be revisiting that idea. Instead of overhauling the pipe guns, we're going to be taking a look at the hunting rifle. Now, as far as Fallout 4 goes, it does have some pretty atrocious weapons, and I wouldn't consider the hunting rifle to be part of that group. As a matter of fact, I think it's one of the better looking weapons in the vanilla game, being one of the most accurate to its real-life counterpart. That being said, it does still have some glaring issues, and on top of that, I think it could have a lot of improvements that make it feel a lot better in-game, not only visually, but also in its gameplay. So today, we're going to be overhauling the hunting rifle to make it something a little bit nicer to look at, but also something a little bit more enjoyable to use in the game. Now, to get us started here, one of the biggest issues with this weapon is, of course, that is left-handed. Now, being left-handed isn't something that's innately wrong, but that it's the standard configuration for this weapon is a bit bizarre. Matter of fact, a lot of the weapons in this game are left-handed when they just shouldn't be. So we're going to be tackling that first by fixing that with the Hunting Rifle Animation Replacer by Hitman. There are a handful of right-handed reanimations for the Hunting Rifle, of course, and by all means, you should pick whichever one you like the most, but when it comes to my personal recommendation, it's going to be Hitman's. It is by far one of my favorites in terms of how it looks. It feels very, very nice, and it does one thing that I really, really want to achieve for the hunting rifle. That specific thing is to make this feel a bit more heavy. The weapon just feels too weak in the vanilla game, not only how it functions in the terms of the damage that it outputs, but also it feels weak in the hands, and this particular animation replacer is going to make it feel a lot heavier. It's really beefy, a nice big amount of recoil with a really, really nice pullback on the bolt. It is a pretty simple animation replacer, but by all means, I think it is one of the most necessary mods on this list. If you care at all about immersion or realism, then this is definitely one that I'd recommend picking up. Now, some of you may not care about that whatsoever, but even still, I think it's just a better animation set overall. Even if you don't care about it being right-handed or left-handed, this animation does look miles better than the original, so I think that it is definitely one that's recommended to be picking up for pretty much any load order. Plus, since the hunting rifle is based on the R700, a weapon that fits for both lore-friendly and more modern load orders, I think this is a mod that is pretty much useful for everybody. A right-handed reanimation is definitely one that I recommend, and that's why it's at the top of this list. Now, honestly, that is enough to fix the hunting rifle, but we're here to try to make it look a bit better. So one of the ways we can do that is by overhauling the textures and replacing them completely with something a little bit nicer, which is why we're checking out the hunting rifle set by D. Polari. Yes, that is the name of the mod. It is just known as the hunting rifle set. If you're having trouble finding that, it'll be linked down in the description, or you can just go over to D. Polari's page where he has a ton of retextures for very many weapons, and this is going to be an absolutely excellent one. This is going to include a much more realistic looking set of wood, a complete overhaul to the polymer furniture as well, and completely remade metals, which are really nice and scratched up. There's a lot of big, deep grooves into everything that looks super realistic, and it's also a lot more rusty, which makes sense for a post-apocalyptic rifle. There actually aren't too many retextures for the hunting rifle out there, believe it or not, at least none that do a complete overhaul. This is pretty much one of the only options you really have available, and it's a definitely a very nice one. Depolari always does excellent retextures, and this mod is no different. Additionally, one huge plus with this particular set is that it goes really well with some of the other mods we're going to be talking about in just a minute, so everything will pair together nicely for one cohesive and immersive experience. If you truly are looking to improve the hunting rifle, this is definitely another must-have if you want to make it just look better. But there are even more ways to go than just textures. We can add on all kinds of other stuff like new attachments, as well as some other ways to make the rifle play to be a bit more fun. So let's start talking about some of the additive mods that we have now by starting off with the attachment pack. Now, yes, I did talk about this in the pipe rifle mod as well, but since this never got a dedicated video, I think it's worth bringing up as well in this video. The attachment pack, if you're not familiar with it, adds a ton of new attachments to every single vanilla weapon in the game. And when it comes to the hunting rifle, I think this mod really, really shines. That's going to include all kinds of new muzzles, new stocks, new attachments in pretty much every category. But by far, one of the biggest improvements is going to be that stock category, because you get a bunch of new stocks that are completely different, like black polymer, a camoed out stock. You have one that looks sort of like a stock from an op, but sort of tweaked to be a little bit more fallouty. And there's even a perfect recreation of the Fallout 3 style stock. There's also some extra wooden stocks here and there, so you can absolutely just find whatever kind of stock you want for the hunting rifle. Some of these are going to be inspired by real life stocks for the R700 or other bolt action rifles, and some of them are completely original. Lots of new options there. But it doesn't stop with the stocks. Like I said, there's new barrels, new muzzles, all kinds of new attachments that you can throw on to make this a brand new weapon. They're all going to help you beef up the stats since the base hunting rifle is kind of weak and vanilla. Some of these are going to help with damage, but most of these are going to help with accuracy or range. 
or some other miscellaneous stats. That being said, if we want to mess with the damage, there is another mod that we can check out and use with the attachment pack to make that even better. Compared to some of the other mods that we're checking out today though, the attachment pack is definitely going to give you the biggest bang for your buck, because this isn't going to just overhaul the hunting rifle, it's going to be every single vanilla weapon. But even if you're just looking at the hunting rifle, it's going to have the most additions to the weapon than any other mod we're checking out today. So it's definitely one that I recommend. If you're not using the attachment pack already, but you want to overhaul the vanilla weapons, the attachment pack is kind of your one-stop shop for doing that. If you're somebody who's watching this video, then you probably want to keep the vanilla weapons around. You just want to change them a little bit. The attachment pack is definitely one that you need to consider. And besides, if you like the content that I put out here and you like my opinions on weapons, then you're definitely going to like the attachment pack because that one is made by me. So we kind of share a similar vision if that's the case. Now then, the next mod is a very, very simple one, but it's one that I actually use in my load order because I think it's absolutely excellent. That is going to be the Hunting Rifle 30-06 Receiver Munitions Patch by Brightsteel601. Now, for most people, the biggest issue with the Hunting Rifle is going to be that left-handed animation. But for me, one of my biggest issues is that it has a 50 caliber receiver, which is absolutely ridiculous. So this mod is going to completely remove that from the game and replace it with a new rechamber, adding in 30-06 from munitions. Now, this is really only going to be beneficial to people who like or use munitions, but this actually makes sense, since in real life, the R700 can come in 30-06, and shoving a 50 cal into a rifle like this doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Similar to the right-handed remesh, if you want to have a little bit more immersion, a little bit more realism, this is one that's going to be quite nice. Additionally, if you're already a munitions user, this is going to make use of an ammo type that doesn't have too many guns. There's only a few out there, and most of them are mine. <laughs> This is going to add a nice vanilla integration for 30-06 in a way that makes a lot of sense. A perfect endgame hunting rifle that isn't going to be a massive 50 BMG anti-material rifle. If you want a far more realistic hunting rifle, this is going to be the best option, and it's going to be the highest damage receiver available for the hunting rifle in 30-06. 308 will carry you through most of the game, but 30-06 is going to be the really heavy round that's going to pack a punch in bigger enemies like Yao Guai and Power Armor. Ideally, too, this is going to be a bit more common to find than 50 BMG, making it a little bit more balanced for you. You're not going to have to rely on 50 BMG for a way lower damage output than it should be doing. Now, when you download something like an anti-material rifle, this will still be a nice mid to late game weapon until you get something heavy like that to make use of 50 cal. Honestly, it's a very simple mod, a small change to a receiver, but this is something that will not leave my load order because I think it is one of the most perfect mods to change up the hunting rifle to something a little bit more immersive and a little bit nicer to use. Now, finally, there is one more mod to talk about that's going to be Pretty similar to the attachment pack, but it's going to specialize in adding new scopes. And that is the MA Optics Pack by myself and Dreaded Jake. Now, I made all of the assets for the MA Optics Pack. They have all been collected from various mods of mine and put into one new pack that is going to be implemented to all of the vanilla weapons. Much like the attachment pack, this isn't just for the hunting rifle, it's for every vanilla weapon in the game. The reason we're talking about it today is because the hunting rifle is pretty much always going to be used with a scope. So why not have a much nicer scope to look at? And that's not going to be just a standard old long scope. There's actually a handful of scopes here. Some short scopes, medium scopes, long scopes, night vision, thermal, and even a crazy looking recon scope. There are a lot of options here and Threaded Jake has implemented all of them to the hunting rifle as well as every other gun in this game. Not only are the models and textures pretty decent, they also match very well with the mods we've talked about already. They can be utilized with the attachment pack as well as the retextures and everything else in one nice package and they're inspired from some really, really cool retro optics. The longer optics, like the actual full-on scopes, are going to be mainly inspired by New Vegas' scope options, like the night vision, as well as the trail carbine scope, but there's also some really fun sci-fi ones, like the recon scope. But additionally, there are also other optics, like the reflex sight and hollow sight, which are inspired by real-life retro optics that you can find from the past, which is a perfect fit for Fallout. That's going to include things based on the Elbit Falcon, as well as a Bushnell hollow scope. Some really, really cool designs, that fit perfect on retro rifles, which is why I think they look pretty great in Fallout. And thanks to Dreaded Jake, those aren't exclusive to my mods anymore. Now they're added to all of the vanilla weapons. This combined with the attachment pack and all of the other mods that we've talked about today are going to make for a brand new hunting rifle that you won't even recognize compared to the original. With all of these mods put together, you can basically replace every single asset on the gun with something new, which is pretty dang cool. So if you like the hunting rifle, but you want to give it a massive facelift, Consider combining all of these, or at the very least, picking and choosing which of these you like to make for a more enjoyable experience. You can, of course, use whatever you want, however you want. That's what modding is all about. You can take my word for it and use them all together, or you can pick and choose. It's really up to you. But these are definitely some great recommendations and a wonderful place to start if you're looking to overhaul the vanilla hunting rifle. By all means, if you have any other ideas for other weapons that need a facelift in the vanilla game, let me know, and I may make a video for that in the future. 
you guys really seem to enjoy the pipe weapon video, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one as well. And who knows, maybe we'll tackle more in the future. With that, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know down in the comments and leave a like. It really lets me know what you guys like to see, and it does support the channel quite a bit. Additionally, if you like my work here on YouTube, whether it's these videos or the mods that I make over on the Nexus, because there's quite a few of those as well, you can support me directly using the link down in the description to check me out on Patreon. That, of course, is completely optional, but it really does help out, but it's completely up to you. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed once more, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!